maybe you think
sizes that, that I, I use commonly in there, some of the professional orchestras, you play the orchestra, you use even bigger ones than that, but, but generally they're the ones you use, a soprano, there's a concert size one, which some people have got, right? um, a tenor one, and there's a bigger one called a baritone one that's uh, tuned slightly differently, but I don't think anybody's playing one of those today, I don't know. And, and they do make slightly different, they do make, they're all tuned to the same key, aren't they? They're all yeah. tuned, they're all tuned alike. But they do make a, a nice sort of variation on, on the sound, and and it is for comfort really. It's what what when you're learning the ukulele, how 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 well how big your fingers are really. I think that's what de defines the choice on on these three sizes. And then obviously, um, when I went to see the ukulele band of Great Britain, he actually played on a ukulele that was only as big as a fridge magnet. <coughs> And he actually played it. It was absolutely fantastic. And then they had big ones as well. So if you ever get the opportunity, sometimes they come to the Philharmonic, if you ever get the opportunity to go and hear the Ukulele Band of Great Britain, it's a night worth, it's a night worth going to because they really are fantastic. They're almost as good as us, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> we have a lot to learn. It begins with a Margie, and I'm always thinking about you. Because Ralph, we can't do the one. We can't do the one. The 22. We can do all three. We couldn't sing all three. We couldn't do the first one. That's Thursday, so we must get out. Medley two, two, yeah. Medley two, two. Margie, we're always thinking about you, and now it's going to lead us. Okay. 